Hey guys, in today's video, we are gonna go over the May 2024 Canmore real estate market, give you some statistics on that and how it performed uh, for last month. Sounds awesome, uh, look forward to, to doing this today. It's a dreary day here in Canmore, but uh, still see the tops of the mountains, so we're pretty excited about that. So we're gonna, a little bit different from what we've been doing. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, May of this year compared to May of last yeah. year go through some market overview statistics and get into some categories mm -hmm. after that. So 23 to 24, um, in May 2023, we had 43 sales. And then in 24, we had 58 sales. So we are actually up 35%. Uh, average sale price was 1.24474 in 2023 and in 2024, 168148, which is actually down about 6%, which we'll talk about later in, in the video, which is an interesting statistic. The average square foot price is uh, $709, and the average days on the market was 37 in 24 and 53 in 23. For uh, So we're down uh, 31, thir yeah, 31 yeah. and a half. Percent. Quicker to sell. Quicker to sell, yeah. Moving into specific categories, single family, we had eight sales for an average sale price of 1.894 million. The average price per square foot was $611 and the average days on market was 56. Townhome, 17 uh, sales, 1.049, $694 a square foot and 33 days on the market. Apartments, we had 15 sales in the month of May for an average sale price of just over 819,000. The average price per square foot was $699 and it took an average of 28 days to sale. Those uh, townhouses apartments were selling pretty quick yep. in the residential That's side. That's a high so number. High number. Half duplexes seven sold, 1.529 was the average sale price, $720 a square foot. And the average days on the market, much like single families was uh, 52. Moving into the short-term <laughs> rental market, we have hotel condos, six sales for the month of May, coming in at a sale price of just shy of a million dollars. The average price per square foot was $952, and it took an average of 30 days. Tourist homes, uh, four, where's the number of sales? 1.4 uh, is the average sale price, $933 a square foot and 23 days on the market. So those are the categories for uh, the breakdowns for Canmore market. Now moving into a year to date uh, statistic followed by some end of month active inventory. Uh, so sold listings year to date, 2023, we had 165. Uh, in correlation to 2024, we have 211. So that's an increase of just shy of 28% there. Which is, is really indicative of what we were kind of talking about last year. The markets mm -hmm. seem to be seem to be trending in the right direction. Correct. Uh, so end of month active inventory. So 2024, we had 116 active properties on the market. In 2023, we had 103. Uh, so we're up about 12.62%. Again, the averages are growing, so yeah. yeah. That's kind of a, a broad, uh, broad overview of the statistics for May. Do we wanna talk about maybe a couple things that we found interesting uh, this month and moving into June? Um, it's interesting when we look at the single family homes, um, as well as just the residential market as a whole between a certain price point. Do you want to maybe touch on that? Yeah. So, um, I have, a, I have a property that is in, in kind of in this price bracket where the market seems to be a little bit softer, mm -hmm. uh, 1.8 to 2.2 in the residential market seems to be a place where, uh, Properties aren't moving as mm -hmm. quick. In the last 90 days, we had uh, two sales only. Mm -hmm. So I think <clears throat> when you get over the 2.2 million, people are looking even up into the threes mm -hmm. and people are maybe only qualifying for 1.8 because we saw prices 1.7, 1.775 that were moving, but you get into the 1.8s and it, it gets a little bit less. Totally. Another key statistic here, although we're down 6% when we compare the months of May from 2024 to 2023, mm -hmm. year to date, our average sale price, we're up 8%. Yeah. So don't be alarmed by the 6%. I think it's one thing that we wanna look at and continue to monitor in months ahead. 
uh, but we are eight, up 8% uh, year to date. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the overall feel in the market, while we've seen a few price reductions, is, is definitely still strong. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the interest rates dropping 25 basis points today, mm -hmm. actually, I think is a trend. My opinion, and this is my opinion only, is I believe that interest rates will continue to decrease over the next um, year, year and a half, two years. I think they probably level out around the 4%, which which is I, I probably a good spot for, for everything in the market, for the market to grow, for inflation to stay low, and, and all these good things to happen, people being able to afford homes. Perfect. Well, that's what we got for you for May. We're looking forward to moving into the summer months here and the market continuing to go strong. Uh, thanks for watching our video, and if you could like and subscribe to the channel, it really does help us grow, and we look forward to coming at you with some more informative content. Thanks.